Hi, I want to talk to you about exponential smoothing. This is a method of forecasting or predicting things like sales where you have repeated new information. Uh, one approach is to start with a guess. Uh, the guess could be the first week's sales or it could be an actual, actual guess. So well, let's call that F0, forecast at time zero, F0. We would wait one period, we'd obtain an actual figure of sales, maybe call it X1. And then in the light of this new information, we want to revise and improve F0. Uh, if X1 is larger than F0, we want uh, the next forecast, F1, to be bigger and, and vice versa if it's smaller. So we um, calculate the error and then we make an adjustment which could be say half of the error. For example, if uh, the guess was 100 units and sales were actually 125, then the adjustment, well the error would be 125 minus 100, that's 25. The adjustment would be half of that 12.5 and we would make the second forecast by adding 12.5 to the previous one so that's 100 plus 12.5 112.5 then we we'll just repeat this we'll uh, do it for period two we'll get another figure we'll find another adjustment we'll revise F1 to give us F2 We'll keep on doing that and the forecasts uh, will keep improving. Uh, this process is called exponential smoothing. It does not have to involve half of the error. It could involve 10% or some other percentage. But the idea of taking the error, taking a fraction of that as the adjustment, and then making a new forecast, that's the key idea. So uh, let's talk about this a little bit and um, the first thing you can see is that this is self-correcting. If the first guess was too high, very high or very low, uh, later values will move closer to the actual mean. Uh, if the level changes, if say your product suddenly becomes very popular and the actual sales level changes, you can see that the forecast will track it and will follow, follow along. So this um, is a very useful thing in practice. It's widely used in business. And you know, the idea can be applied to other things besides uh, actual sales. For instance, uh, think about that error. Sometimes it's important to know not just what you expect, but the range, plus or minus, and that turns into an estimated error. So we could take the first error, use that as a value, take the second error, and smooth. We could keep on adjusting the size of the error, and if we do that, we'll eventually have an average error. That is just like the standard deviation in a statistics situation. So um, here's, a, here's something we can do with it. Here's one of the uh, applications. Uh, in business sometimes it's helpful to know the maximum reasonable demand, sometimes called MRD. Well that is usually found by taking the forecast plus two and a half times the average error size. By the way the average error is sometimes called the mean absolute deviation. It's kind of a statistician's joke because that abbreviates to MAD. So it's uh, forecast F plus 2.5 times MAD equals, yes, MRD. But the, the maximum reasonable demand is the amount you should have in your store, factory, or warehouse. So it's a very useful and very widely used thing. If you'd like to know more about it, you can look for more things online, or here's a book that I wrote that you can take a look at. You can find it on Amazon and other sites. And thank you very much. This is Bill Benton. Goodbye for now.